You have this on your computer, don't it? You want to take the D off that word? That's Porter on page six. Oh, wait a minute, you're taking that out. Never mind. I'm sorry. Okay. It's for the performance of his duty, but that's in red. You're taking that out. Okay. Yes. Find no statutory provision that spoke to the composition numbers or find whatever number we want to that be for. The discussion is all around the question of how much is purple there, uh, whether we should have alternates, which is pretty much eliminating the alternates from all the other um, appropriate boards and committees. So, if everybody is in agreement in terms of eliminating the alternates here, then it would be the board of assessment review should consist of three members appointed by the town manager, which is approval of the board. Initially, terms are for one, two, and three years. 
there is therefore thereafter the term of each member of each member is three years. Member shall not be elected to the chair, not the chair of the secretary. Summarize how often the board of assessors meets in in real life and uh, what's involved in this. But uh, the reason I ask is, in my mind, alternates or sort of apprentices isn't the right word, but the, the, in, 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 for most of the other boards, the purpose of having alternates was to have somebody. To, not a voting member, but learning the ropes. Yeah. And does would, would that apply? And, and maybe there's a different reason for having all the here. Um, well, the board of assessment review, as I said last time, their job would be if you have a disagreement with the assessor about your assessed value, you could come to resolution with the assessor ourselves. So, you go to the next step in the process is to go to this board again. Pretty complicated in terms of the law and how assessments are done, and what's appropriate and what isn't. Um, so, construction or being part of the board for some period of time was going to step forward probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, having said that, uh, I think we should have at least more than three members because I indicated last time that one member of a three member board can't show up. Then we, got then we got a tie potentially, and that's not fair to citizens. They ought to get a decision someplace by this board, either for or against uh, their position. So, when you want to go to five members or to three and two alternates, I think either way is, is fine. But I think we got to get to at least three participating in the assessment review. And to Chip's question, I think the last time I saw this board acting was when we did a revalve. That's, that's a long time ago, but that's yeah, the last I, time I, I heard it. I've been here since 2014, and we've never had. No. Remember, there were some during the reval that we couldn't come, couldn't come to arrangements with the, the company that was doing the revaluation. Then they went, and that board was active then. But that's but that and that wasn't even a lot. I don't think there were a few cases I remember. But all right, that's fine either way, but I just want to get to a point where we get to uh, I'm not there. Yeah. Yes, and I was given a huge number It's complicated. And then the next one was in. And that's why I So there is some training, shall we say, or at least a bit The Second and third sentences here about the term of office. Can, can we grab a sentence from one of the others and just stagger for your term? Rather than have, this, this is different from yeah. the language we have everywhere else. And, and, and it was different because of the alternates, but yeah. we're getting rid of the alternates. I should say members with. Staggered three year terms. Give it that, right? The board of assessment review should consist of five members, elected by the town manager, composed of the board with staggered three year terms. Or, or staggered three year terms.
So I'm not going to kind of rehash this, but it should be a lot clearer to me. It's not, but it's okay. Keep going. I, I, I did have one other question about section 5.2. We've taken out any reference to how many members or directors there are. Maybe that's fine. I, I don't know who determines how many. That's done so it's Title 28. We can't have any control over that. Oh, okay. Yeah. In, in, in other words, it's perfectly fine to me. Right. Just right. Blind visual, blind patient. Okay. It's a change. It's a plan of changes. Five three and five four are gone. Yes.
Typo in the last sentence there, conduct of which fourteen three three. Well, just purple is not numbered right here. Yeah. 
Sounds like it's getting at if one of the board members is the subject of the petition. Is that what you're getting at? Yeah. yeah. The language here makes sense to me. Sorry, Chip. Would you say? I'm sorry. The language makes it oh. makes sense to me that the petition not be addressed yeah. to the select board member subject to a response. Gets out and actually it's starting with this. Click on the next page. Correct. And then going back that page. Yep, okay. Okay. Yep. So yep. I think to I think to Dan's point, what we want to do now is take this material that we have here, put it into a working document yes. with the cross outs. Yeah. So then we can see what's going to take its right. place. Yeah. We and certainly then, and then that way you can understand how yeah. this is all and to me, yes. we're going to have a public hearing. You need to have that anyway. So okay. Okay. So just do this yeah. that people no. want to say what no, no, no. you know it looks like what I was doing earlier. Yeah. So we have to have the final copy. All on one. Yeah, correct. Yeah. No problem. All right, 
the last page of the packet is a summary of our research. Which is a lot of work. Is that I don't have, think I have one of those. Is that the summary? No, I got this, but I didn't get the that one. Okay. That's the page I don't. Have. Thank you. Well, that's what it is. Someone. Yeah, Jack on February twenty third. That's. Well, not 
Still no reference to taking it out of the charter. Yeah, I think I if maybe I can cut to the chase on this. I think I'm going through it looking. This is pretty thorough, this document here. And I think what we do is we take what's on this document, add it to here, and then whatever's crossed out, we cross out. I can use the and cross that out and what the new language is next to it. And then I think we answers your question because when it gets to that piece on the town manager's duties, that will be crossed out. Somebody asks a question and can explain why. Right. So I think this is what a draft of this will be what will be presented at the public right. hearing. Yeah. And we'll have to go as an explanation using that other document. To have people lead out, lead the way through this document. Well, and I, the, the one of the documents we're talking about, the role of the role, that becomes the, the final document. Correct. It's just a matter of going through and pulling out the process that's uh, crossed out. Um, so, yeah, that, that is the next step that has to happen. The reason why it hasn't happened up to this point is, quite frankly, I haven't had time to have these kind of the entire show. I've been working on concentrating on keeping track of all the little bits and pieces and keeping uh, them in order as much as possible. And I've directed that to the team and they'll get out. But yeah, we have to turn the document. Yeah, the, I have the document on my computer, so I can take this information without new product. When I get some time, is to do that, make those changes. And I'll send it to you so you can double check it. And I'll send it to everybody so they can see what it is. Yeah, it no, essentially I mean, says yeah. with the cross outs. Yeah. And then maybe if we miss anything, then we, we can tighten that up. I, I think, as you stated, that's good and it's clarification during a public meeting. But down the road, the check point, down the road, somebody would read this because you won't see those what we deleted after it's been approved, right? That's all gone. That's all out of there. And nobody will, they'll look at this and they may say, you know, what exactly did we do here? So I, maybe just a little bit of the wording in here. I, I think, you know, four and five kind of cover it, but maybe we just added something a little bit different than five, what we took out. I think that you're looking to see what we took out of that, out of the, the charter, right? Short version, there was a hard and fast limit in the charter. And from my perspective, I don't care what it is town manager or the dog catcher that is responsible for implementing it, that 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 limit has been removed and is replaced by select board policies. Okay. 
but that, that that's correct. That's exactly essentially that's all they'll see. Somebody that has intimate knowledge of it would say something like, "Well, it said this. Why was it removed?" And then select will say, "Well, we have now we have a policy for it or a draft policy. Here it is, because they've already prepared that policy for for approval once this gets done." So I think we have a, a way to answer that question. That you're going to get the charter approved in town, that, that people are going to be real interested in what, what it was, as opposed yeah. to what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. That's what we're yeah. working on, right. regardless of what it was before. Yeah. Right. These are the rules of the road now. Yeah. Yeah. And then the library ended up with was a purchase of agent for all departments except the school department, pursuant to the purchasing policy of the selectors. So that throws it right back to that policy of purchasing type So, I mean, again, all that we as a group are, are knee deep in this and have been for months. All this list that I gave you was intended as a again, create a summary paragraph for the purpose of that page three of the charter, which traditionally has always said, our, oh, I'm sorry, page four. What do we do? Right, well, we added to this, we revised that, we removed this, we added something, that's it. Yeah. Well, I don't want to get look at the charter. Yeah, you can't regurgitate everything in this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, do you have just a quick question? I, I probably missed, I know I missed it. That meeting, but. On the school board, it was a decision to completely eliminate like what we used to have and just strictly stick with an RSU, right? If something happened down the road and there's an RSU that no longer exists, then we have to go back and revisit and redo this, correct? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, until that point, we, we follow the state statute. Right. Yeah. What's that? Oh. Until that point, we follow the state statute. If we have an independent school, 20A has guidance there to follow that. So. Yeah, and, and actually, Dan, the, the uh, unless we went back to a Rundle as an independent school system, just serving a Rundle, because aren't there like four or five different forms of yeah. cooperative? We could change from an RSU to one of the other forms, and this still works. The only time it wouldn't work is if Arundel went back to just an Arundel, an Arundel only school board. And personally, I think I would move out of town <laughs> if, if that happened because it's just so no, stupid. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I get it. I just, you know, initially we had talked about almost leaving, leaving that alone because it just said applies to, but. Yeah, well, the, the, okay. but, but the problem was we, we didn't. It, when, when we got to talking about recall of elected officials, the RSU directors are elected officials, but there is no reference right. in the charter yeah. to the RSU directors. Now there is. It's, it's almost like just a bookmark, and I understand that. But that, that was the, the intent is that they are elected officials and they are subject to recall like any other elected official of the town. Do we need to state RSU in this chart? Because no, we really don't talk anything about the regional school unit. We just say a school board. Do we need to state that in there? Including mm -hmm. school board members. And, and again, Dan, the, 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 the idea of leaving it vague was yeah. in case in case we go from an RSU to one of the other. Things. So, but does the, does the director, I mean, okay, maybe it implies to you, but does the director, because it says director, and, and imply that we're part of an RSU? I don't, I don't, I don't know that, right? That's the designation. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, so that goes into this. Item five, edit, edit, and 
Special town meeting. hard work could go down the drain if we don't get 30 percent of the voters coming to vote on this from the last gubernatorial election which is what did I put, 622 voters so on that vote on tuesday we need 622 here or all this work doesn't doesn't go forward Very good. Have they determined these are substantive changes that we're going to need that that many? I mean, I thought if they were just revisions, we didn't need that. I you're going to have to, unless I'm reading this wrong, you're gonna, this goes to a ballot, secret ballot. It has to be voted on at that Tuesday meeting. Am I wrong with that assessment? Are, are we talking about the, the, the regular election? Right. Yeah. You have your elections on, you're voting by ballot on Tuesday, you open town meeting on Wednesday. This would be on a ballot. Tom, on is that correct? I, no, no. I thought it only had to go to the ballot if it was substantive right. changes. Right. And if, I. If we did, if we did a. A review. a review. A review. And I think that just a review, I thought a review could be voted on at town. Well, I'm trying to give enough language. I, I put the uh, pertinent uh, pieces in I mean, I don't want to move on to this. It doesn't relate to what I'm talking about. We have a public hearing. I think we have to yeah. look at this. They do. Okay. Yep. Um, and give them a set of eyes on this thing. I think somebody who does this every day, all day. 
I think we missed anything. I mean, I think yeah. Leah had some suggestions that kind of problem must be here as it is. Um, so. Question number. I, I think yeah. we need to. If it doesn't go over in June, it will have to be back on the ballot in November. Well, what, what else is on the ballot in June? The select board, the yeah. financial yeah. officers, and the school. Yeah. The school budget. Yeah, I, I, I do too. Attorney to see to find out what we need to do, okay? Yeah. And have a review with yep. the still. that you've already given in this document, which is yeah. very clear to me, and I'll just pull them in and we'll circulate it. Yeah, if I miss anything, obviously you guys will let me know and correct it. And then I guess the next thing is uh, working backwards from the election, the well, that's sort of why I gave you this quick memo and I outlined in it the, um, the various statutes, including what our, what our charter now says. It says, it says a public uh, hearing on amendments must be held at least 30 days prior to voting on the amendments. And then the statute lays out certain dates and times that um, we also need to meet in terms of Amendments on the ballot, uh, you know, uh, seven days after the hearing, this office may order proposed amendments. Uh, seven days prior to the hearing, the municipal office shall publish a notice of the public hearing in the newspaper. Seven days after the public hearing, the municipal officers or the committee shall file with the municipal clerk a report containing the final draft. Um, and you know, uh, two weeks before the election, the final report be printed, copies available at the clerk's office. So there's a procedural piece here, but the thing that I think we have plenty of flexibility on is we have to be only at least 30 days prior. Right. So we could be 45 days prior and still be within the statute. So I think we have the flexibility there um, to pick the dates that would be uh, if, uh, meet whatever um, meetings that the selectmen are having to make their approvals and whatever meetings we need to have with the uh, charter. Uh, I mean, so I was thinking maybe in April that this process begins. Yeah, early April. Uh, yeah, started in April. And then the month of March, so we have to go through this, make sure. Right, we've got okay. this month of March coming up to finalize everything here, and then we start the process yeah. in April. And then that just, um, we get shot down the public hearing on some technicality. We can do another public hearing still 
I I think so. I I want to get some clarity from the attorney on that because that may be that could be a stumble. I don't think we've got enough time to do two public hearings. Well, it depends when we have the public hearing. Right? Yeah. If, if, if we make a public hearing for the, the beginning of our first meeting in April, we shoot for that target. Depending on what happens there, we could meet the following week and do some changes and right. then have another, you know. How long do we have to uh, seven days before we have to? We have to also have a written opinion by an attorney that's attached to the right. proposal we give to the- I think that gets to Tom's yeah. point. It yeah. needs to go in front of the attorney. Once yeah. we have a final draft, yeah. some changes, we need to get it to her. So I'm thinking- Does that, does that make a difference whether it's, a, whether it's a revision or a rewrite, or is that the same no matter which route we go? That's the same. So I think, Donna, that I, I block out some time next week to get this thing done so we can then get to it really quickly and then get it to the attorney for review set up our public hearings and our process from that point forward okay so if we can have the blended topics like this so we can take one more look at it yep. Okay. Uh, right? Yeah. So right. So we back that up 30 days to be a little You got this on the back of that sheet. I gave you a calendar. Why don't we have an informational meeting of some sort? Just an initial meeting. Don't call it a public hearing. See if we can get input at that point in time. See if something comes up with something that is, you know, something we have to consider a change because of the arguments that are made. And then we could change it and then have the public hearing. The one public hearing. Could we? I, think, I agree with you that a lot of this fresh information out to find out where we got problems yeah. as soon as we can, yeah. if we have problems. Yeah. Could we have that for our March 21st selectman's meeting? Yeah. Because our first meeting in April is the 11th. But our March 21st selectman's meeting, we could have like an informational meeting or something, and then this, April 11th this, could be the public. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything else on the ballot for June that will draw six hundred people? I don't know if anything is real sexy that I know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can't imagine six hundred people coming. Well, we'll have we'll, we'll have we'll, we'll yeah. meet uh, folks elected to the school board. We'll have a vacancy within the. Um, and then the board of selectmen too. Yeah, we got, we got two right. people on the board. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, there's no doubt we're going to. I mean, yeah. I think if I look at our last numbers, uh, I think we're, I think we'll meet meet those yeah. those criteria. Yeah. So, well, if not, if not, it just you know, it just means that uh, we may have to have postponed it. Put something else together. We already got the document done. It's not like we have to reinvent the wheel at that point. Yeah. So we just have to go to November. Yeah. If, if, if you look at, you know, in past years, you know, we had two that were approved in June and two in November. Right. And there was. Uh, we got it in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
And that, that was controversial. I, I don't see anything that was controversial here once it is explained. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I basically cleaned up some stuff. Yeah. 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 A lot of it's wording. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't see a whole lot of substantive you know, stuff here. There's I a mean, few wires, but. Probably the most controversial thing was the one we started with, which is taking that $50,000 and creating policy for this life. Yeah. What's a zero? What's an extra zero? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't believe so. I think we can get it all done here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of putting the documents together now and then letting you folks look at it. If we're looking at the 9th, that, you say the 9th of March is that actually? Yeah. There you go. And I'll get it out. You know, I'll get it to you before that. Have you take a look at it. And if it looks okay, I'd like to get it out to the board members before I have to. The meeting, yeah, so yeah, that way, if they have any ideas or thoughts, we'll have them ready to go that night. Yeah. And instead of zooming, maybe I'll have my laptop here and make the changes as we go through. Maybe I'll send it out. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So move. Second. Thank you guys. Thank you for all the Thanks, guys. Sure.